Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I wanted to touch base with you guys and tell you about a new product that I was able to obtain and uh, install on this truck here. RC4 Drive just dropped their new set of TEQ axles. They are based on a Axo AR44 style axle. So they are a four link or three four link um, style axle housing and they are a direct replacement axle for an axial SCX-102 based truck or in the case of like an element enduro style truck they will also work on that as well. So I was able to get a set front and rear for this truck here and I was also able to get a rear axle for this truck here and the install was fairly simple and straightforward. The axles are modeled after a Toyota axle so naturally I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, much better than the uh, more Dana style looking axle that some of the other manufacturers do. So this Toyota axle, RC4 Drive kept true to that. Uh, they did some really nice work on it. They actually had the little fill style plug in the front. So just some little extra scale details. And because they're based off of the AR style uh, axle platform, the front axle has the, uh, the ability to clock. Uh, so you can move your, uh, your, your C's around and adjust your, your caster as necessary. Um, the axles are also high pinion, front and rear, uh, so better drive shaft angles, they're a little you're more tucked out of the way, don't have to worry about catching stuff on the rocks. And the, uh, the they come in a nice black finish, they have a, uh, they're like a trust style setup, uh, kind of resembles something you would see on a real Toyota rock roller, so they did a really great job on these. Um, I installed them on this truck here, uh, this truck is something I just picked up recently, um, from uh, one of the guys that I follow on Instagram. He did a great job of weathering the body and uh, it was an axial base truck with a shrink RC body uh, mount set on it with the RC four wheel drive 87 extra cab body. And uh, I scooped this up for my girlfriend to use at the upcoming USTE event in February. Um, so I wanted to get this thing up to par for her. So we stuck the axles in this I made a few uh, other small changes. I ditched the uh, sh front shocks that were in it for some uh, 80 millimeter Kings from RC4 drive as well. Got the ride height where I want it. Flex is good if you care about that. And uh, this thing is pretty much ready to rock now. I haven't had a chance to get it outside and try the axles. Uh, I tooled it around the basement here a little bit. Uh, the one thing I can tell you is, is, is definitely not lacking in steering. Um, tons of steering with these, way more than your stock um, Yoda style axles uh, that are usually found like under your TF2 base trucks. So these things have the ability to have great steering like the like the AR platform axles do. Uh, as far as the uh, element truck goes, I was able to put the rear in this one here. Um, I'll bring you guys up close and personal with the camera so you guys can see what it looks like. Again, install was fairly straightforward. Depending on what um, your truck is and as far as what your wheelbase is set to, um, you may have to you know, make some adjustments with your, uh, your ball ends depending on which ones you're using. I was using some beefier um, axial, one, uh, I'm sorry, Traxxas ones. So I had to clearance the one spot on the back of the axle a little bit to get full range of motion. But other than that, they're, they're pretty much a direct bolt in. Um, they give you, for the front axle, they give you the steering linkage and they also give you a pan hard bar if you're putting it on a SCX-102 style truck. If you're using an element um, kit, this truck in particular happens to have the IFS kit in the front, but if you're using one of the solid axle style truck kits, you'll just reuse your, uh, your factory pan hard bar for those. Um, so yeah, let me get you guys up and close and personal with the axles so you can see what they look like. Uh, they did a great job on them. I was pretty stoked to be able to grab a set of these. I've seen guys in the past before, especially with the new IFS grays, where guys were doing the IFS kit in the front and they were trying to use the RC4 drive Yoda axle on the back, but the, the gear ratio was just so far apart. It was as if it was like severely like overdriven or maybe underdriven, I can't remember which one it was. But what's nice now is, is that these have the proper ratio to go with the, the axle style gearing um, or the element gearing. So this way, if you're doing an IFS truck, and you want to have this scalar looking rear axle for a Toyota based truck, you now have that uh, availability.
ability by doing these new TEQ axles. So yeah, so let me get you up close, check them out. Um, if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I've got a bunch of other stuff going on, working on the two rad build. If you've been following that on Instagram and posting on there, RC Crawl and Scale Builders Guild. Uh, so tons of work going on on this, trying to get everything in order, all my ducks in order for Ultimate Scale Truck Expo. So this is what I'm hoping to enter in the GCM Show and Shine, and we'll go from there. Um, tons of work ahead. I'm going to try to get some more videos out shortly. I'd like to kind of catch you guys up on this thing. Uh, but for now, today I kind of want to focus on the, uh, the new axles. So we're going to wrap that up, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. All right. So you can get a good uh, up-close view of these things here. And they did a really nice job on these axles you can see the little fill plug hole there uh pretty cool and then try to angle it up there so you can see the uh the front truss and uh it's got like high clearance style knuckles on this particular truck because i'm rocking a pretty low uh squatty you know ride height on this thing what i ended up doing was is i ended up actually putting the steering linkage on the bottom of the knuckles uh, this way I can keep my, if you look in here, you can see my uh, hand-on bar and steering linkage is very parallel, which is really what you want on a link style truck to eliminate uh, bump steer. So I got the stance where I want it. You can see I bump, stop the shocks there. And, uh, you know, there's still plenty of room from the ground clearance to where that top drag link is. I, I don't predict there'll be any issues with that getting hung up on anything. So that should be pretty good. As far as the back of the truck goes, like I said, the install on that was also pretty straightforward. Uh, the rear axle is trussed, something like something you'd see on a real Toyota axle, which is nice. Um, you know, again, if you take a closer look in here, you can see they are a high pinion style axle, which is pretty nice. Uh, definitely going to be kept out of the way of the rocks. So. These worked out really nicely. The installs, like I said, were pretty straightforward, uh, depending on, again, your, your build. Uh, you may have to do, like anything else, um, some adjustments with uh, rod link ends and stuff. But overall, they, they are more or less just a, a bolt-in replacement axle. And uh, it'll, they work great. These will be fantastic for either an axial truck or an element truck. I was really pumped because I'm starting this IFS build here. I'm gonna do another 80 style show truck. And this thing here, I've got the IFS kit in the front and I did some really badass weld uh, replica wheels with some 1.7 Thornburgs. And I doubled up on the foam to give the tires a nice, you know, wide puffy look, like something you would see back in the days of the, uh, the show trucks in the 80s and the 90s. So, yeah, so I'm pretty pumped. That's a new build that's coming up. This was a, a great score. This guy did a fantastic job on the truck. Um, Jordan Blake on his Instagram name right now, but shout out to him. Uh, he, he did a great job on the weathering and stuff. And uh, I got some Proline Swampers on there. And then I got the, uh, these were the, actually the Champ 500 gearhead wheels that were actually on the 2Rad truck build. Because I replaced those with some weld wheels as well. So yeah, things are shaping up, keeping busy. Lots of uh, you know building going on here uh, between working on two rad and then the this truck here with the axle swap this weekend. Um, definitely keeping busy. So yeah, I'm gonna drop a link below uh, for the axles if you guys want to check them out on the RC Four Wheel Drive site. Uh, they just came out. Like I said, I, I'm I'm seeing nothing but good things for them. I mean, it's a, it's an axial style uh, based axle, so we already know that those are pretty proven and RC4 Drive kind of took it to the next level with their uh, Toyota axling, uh, axle casing styling. And uh, they just, they're sharp looking with the trusses and all that. So, all right guys, thanks again. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.